there is a couple of different ways of measuring. It depends if you have a rebate or not. So a rebate is this section here where the old screen doors used to go into. Uh, a lot of new doors these days don't have that. So we'll show you a measurement now for a subframe. There's a couple of different types of uh, sills. We have a flush sill, a short sill, or an extended sill. On this situation, we have a flush sill. So we'll put the tape measure just below the sill, 20 mil, till above the daylight opening. You need to be 30 millimeters above the daylight opening, and the daylight opening will be this measurement here. For the width, this is the daylight opening in between the two, uh, the door jam. So we need to be approximately 35 mil each side of the daylight opening. That is 800 millimeters, the daylight opening. So 35 millimeters, both sides, making this door 870 millimeters is approximately okay. Your door handle here, most security door handles should go above this door handle in this space here. So once again, put your tape measure to the same place as you put it for the height and above, and get a measurement above that entrance set. This would be a right-hand opening door. That means that lock will be on the right-hand side and the hinges will be on the left-hand side and opening this way. And with the extended sill, if the extended sill comes out, you just put the tape measure on top of the extended sill and then measure the height. So these doors with a subframe can be anywhere from about 2 meters 60 to 2130. There's a fair bit of give in a subframe, so that means you can be 5 or 10 millimeters out and the door will still fit.